And she's talking about how this is akin to 1939. Are you out of your mind? You want to talk about rhetoric? Let's compare, but let me go back. Representative Byron Donalds calling CNBC's Andrew Sorkin crazy for not seeing the hypocrisy with the Harris campaign. To the extent that there are folks who, by the way, may agree with the policies of Trump, yes, but don't want to vote for Trump, and those, you know, people, you know some of those people, mm. the reason that they don't want to vote for Trump is because they see either in his character or the people who seem to support him um, seem to be engaged in that or willing to engage in that, right? Because you don't, what you don't see, you don't go to other rallies for Harris or see in, that, in a Harris rally that kind of vitriol. It just, you, you, you see, I, look, you there's- don't? I don't think you do. Kamala Maybe. Harris spends half her time talking about her rival as Hitler. After he's been, uh, there have been attempts on his life, not once, but twice. She's doing it right now. Every Democrat official at these rallies refers to him as Adolf Hitler. You got Hillary Clinton running around there hawking her book that nobody wants to buy, frankly. And, they're talk and she's talking about how this is akin to 1939. Are you out of your mind? You want to talk about rhetoric? Let's compare. But let me go back. We are talking about the comments of a comedian. Right. And everybody's going to forget it in 48 hours. The real joke in America is the terrible policy of Kamala Harris. Ooh. Let's talk specifically about Puerto Ricans in America today. Puerto Ricans have had to live under the same inflation unleashed by Kamala Harris. And that's not a joke, but they got to live with it. Puerto Ricans today are living under the same terrible border policies I, that Joe Biden and I, Kamala Harris unleashed. That's a terrible I, joke on the American people. We should be focused on that. I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you on that, on that front. I'm just saying... To, to the extent that you can speak to those people who are out there watching, who say, you know what, I, I agree with the Trump policies, but I, I just can't abide by reading headlines like that. In America and, today, and I don't want not to cut right. you off, but in America today, we have to decide, are we going to be trapped by the headlines of a media who, quite frankly, is in the tank? One way or the other, Ooh. or are we going to look at the actual policies that matter in your life? Out. No, no, because people this who matters. You can't take headlines, it out. Though. But yeah. you take can't, the headlines out. Look but at you the... can't. You raise headlines. You can't take it out. We have to decide as Americans: Are we going to be you caught up in what media says themselves. to us, or are we going to talk about the reality facing our nation? And the reality facing I... our nation is: We are seriously in decline because of terrible leadership in Washington D.C. And yeah. what gave you the confidence? Um, delusion. <laughs> <laughs>